Hi guys, it's Silky Locks and I'm back um, from my relaxer video, but I do have to admit that I am kind of disappointed because I had made um, a lot of videos and I wanted to show you guys each um, step by step as to how I relaxed my hair because it was the first time that I was going to do it in two sections and um, I wanted to show you how I condition and just basically just show everything step by step. But um, I had some technical problems with the computer and the computer crashed and all of the videos that I made um, actually got lost. So now here I am um, at the final step. But before I reveal, I just want to um, recap on actually what I did. I um, relaxed with the um, Organic Root, Root Salon um, Professional Relaxer. And uh, then I deconditioned with the Dove Nutritive Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Daily Treatment Conditioner. Uh, that was a fairly new product for me. Um, I deconditioned with it. Um, I left it on for about, I guess, about 30 to 45 minutes under a plastic cap. I didn't use heat with it. Uh, it really didn't. Um, it's, it's okay, um, but it really didn't give me the slip. Um, that I usually like with my conditioner, so I'm probably going to be um, getting something else um, because I'm just not really, not really satisfied with that. But overall, for the price, it was only like five bucks at Walmart for the price. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And um, I wanted to show you my leave-ins after I rinse the Dove out. Um, I use the Afogee Keratin and Green, Green Tea Restructurizer. And I like to use this after any chemical process. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But it's the Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer by Affigy. And I like to use this because my hair is uh, color treated. So I'll use it after I do my color and I use it after I do a relaxer. Um, it's great for, um, for balancing the pH in our hair. So that's why I use that. So that was the first thing that went on. And then... Um, Another leave-in, the next thing that went on was the Rust Sensory Smoother Conditioner, and it is a leave-in, so you can see that, and it's a leave-in, um, I picked this up, it's a liter size, and I picked this up for 10 bucks at Ross, so if you were to get this, this is a professional product, so if you were to get it from um, a salon or a trade secret or somewhere like that, um, a, a bottle this size is going to cost you at least $20. So um, it was a great deal for $10 at Ross. But um, this went on next. And one thing that I wanted to mention, um, with me, I don't like to use um, a lot of product in my hair. Even with the conditioner, I what I'll do is I'll, sep I'll section my hair into two sections and... Um, and then I'll take like a quarter size amount of whatever I'm putting on and you put use that. And then if I still feel like I need a little bit more, then I'll probably use like a dime or a nickel size amount more and add to and do the same thing for the next section. But I don't like a lot of product in my hair, especially leave-ins, because um, I like for my hair to be light and feathery and, and fly away. And I just don't like to, to just, I don't like to weigh my hair down, so I don't use a lot of products. Um, on my hair, especially leave, when I'm leaving them in. So I only use like um, a quarter size amount of this um, per section. And um, that was two sections each. So, and the last thing that went on is absolutely one of my favorite products. This is the um, the Jojoba, Jojoba Healthy Hair Serum from Shisentit.com. And it is a serum that you can use for shine. I don't know if you can see that. But you can use it um, for, for sealing and adding shine. And it can also um, be used as a heat protectant uh, because I don't use pr traditional heat protectants on my hair because again, I, I just, I don't like for my hair to be weighed down. So I don't use a whole, I don't use like a traditional heat, heat protectant. Um, but I, I will use this after I put on all my other leave-ins and then this is always the last thing that I use. So um, 
but um, it has um, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, dimethicone, aloe leaf extract, vitamin E, and fragrance. And I like this because it's 97% um, natural. And um, it's great. I mean, it's got great oils in it. It's very light. It smells great. Um, and it lasts a while. A little goes a long way. So I'll probably use like a nickel size amount of this for my entire head. And I mean, that's literally all I would use. And then if I, I mean, and maybe like a dime size amount more, but I do not use a lot of this at all. So it's a great product to use. And um, so I did that. And then um, this is my um, coconut oil. Uh, this is uh, virgin unrefined coconut oil and it's the Spectrum brand. And I think that I picked this up at Walmart. Um, you can pretty much find um, unrefined coconut oil basically kind of anywhere right now. Um, they mostly, but the unrefined, you want to make sure that you have the unrefined. You don't want to use the refined um, version of this because um, it's, it's, it's been processed and then all of the nutrients and all the good stuff has basically just been cooked out of it. So you just want to make sure that you have the unrefined. And I mean, um, and one way to tell that you have the unrefined, I mean, it's going to say it on the container, but um, another surefire way to tell that you have the unrefined is to smell it. And if it smells like freshly cut coconut or freshly shaved coconut, then you have the unrefined. And if, it, if you open it and, and you don't smell anything, then you have the, re, the refined. And that's not the one that you want to use for your hair. That's the one that's used for cooking. So, um. You know, just make sure that you have the unrefined virgin coconut oil for your hair. And then I use probably, I don't use a lot of this at all, at all. I will literally use about that much, that much. And for my entire head, my entire head. Um, and it, I mean, it just, and it, as soon as it comes to, to um, your body temperature, it just it's, it melts away. And um, coconut oil is one of the only oils that actually moisturizes the hair because most oils just are good for sealing, but coconut oil will actually moisturize your hair. So that's what that's what's so great about coconut oil. So I put about that dime size amount on my hair, and then I curled it. And this is what I use. I don't use. I don't own a flat iron. So um, this is my straightener and what I use to add body to my hair. So it's like I'm straightening and adding body all in one step. So this is what I use. Um, but I did want to say um, before I go on here, um, well, I'll just go ahead and um, just show you my final result. And I'll just talk while I'm doing this just to save some time. But, uh, oh, but after I curled it, I wrapped it up and put the scarf on and I tell you it's like I've had this scarf forever like 10 years or so and it's like there is magic in this thing I mean my hair can be puffy and frizzy and I wrap it up put this thing on for an hour or two or overnight and it's like my hair is just completely transformed so um and this is a silk scarf i don't use um the cotton because especially when you have relaxed hair we already have a problem with um dry hair and the cotton can really kind of take the moisture out of your hair especially if you're using it every day so this is a silk scarf that i use because it's just it um doesn't take away the moisture like a cotton scarf can't so i use that and i'm just gonna calm it down that and I want it um let's see so I'm not completely satisfied um with this look um just because I didn't use um I, I did use a different conditioner because I just wanted to see how how it would be and I had used it a couple other times but um uh, so I'm not completely, completely satisfied with it, but um, I think, I mean, I think it came out okay. Okay. 
So I just want to make sure that you guys can see that. Um, that's it. This is the final result that I came up with. And um, it, I mean, it moves. It does have a little bit of swing. Uh, maybe not as much as I would like. But um, overall, I'm pretty, pretty uh, satisfied with it. And then I know that this is not the best camera. It's not the best lighting. But as soon as I get all these technical difficulties worked out, um, hopefully I can start um, making some better uh, videos for you guys. But I did want to say that um, a year and a half ago, I actually got the bright idea to shave my head. So if you notice, this side of my hair is significantly shorter than this side. And that's because this is the side that I actually shaved a year and a half ago. And this is the growth that I have gotten from it. Let's see. So all this, like this, this was shaved. This was, this was completely shaved to my scalp a year and a half ago like last the summer of 2010. So this is um, the growth that I've gotten from that. And um, that's why this side is shorter and thinner because of this. And um, it was just something that I wanted to do. I decided, you know, I like the style and um, it was just, I'm kind of like a spur of the moment person. It's something I'd never done. So I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try it. So I did it, it looked great. Um, I wore it for a while, and then I noticed um, that I started having a lot of irritation and sores on my scalp. Didn't know what was going on. So what I did was um, I noticed that they were not only on my scalp, but they were also on my body. So I um, went to the doctor, and I was actually um, diagnosed with a rare skin disease called pemphigus. And um, so and during that time, um, my hair was actually coming out of my scalp in clumps. I mean, I could run my hand through my hair like this and my hand would just be, be full of hair. And I actually, I thought that I was gonna be completely bald. I mean, the fact that I have any hair, how I was able to retain any hair on my head, I have no idea. Um, because I thought I was gonna be completely bald because of this disease. But um, so I, so after, I got diagnosed with that. I wasn't able to keep the style up and it just kind of grew out and everything. And I was just thankful for any hair that I had on my head. So um, that's what happened with that. And um, just wanted to um, just thank you guys for watching. And I apologize for not being able to bring um, the videos to you like I wanted to. Um, but hopefully by the time I do some more videos, I will have all my technical issues and everything worked out um, and then you'll you'll be able to really get a better view of uh, what my hair looks like and what my processes are but um, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate you and um, you know just tell me what you think uh, leave your comments and um, I will promise I will get back to you as soon as possible I will respond because I do read the comments so I will respond and I just want to thank you guys again so um until next time um uh until next time I'll see you guys then bye